So we are in Kirkland, Washington, where our Airbnb is, and I just finished doing about 30 minutes of uphill sprinting. I'm supposed to do a hit leg workout today to wrap up my workouts for this prep. So now we're just walking back up the hill to get to the house, and then it's about five or so right now, and we're gonna go down to Bellevue so I can get my number for tomorrow, I can check in, get my gym bag, and then we get to relax for the evening. And then tomorrow's Friday, I get my tan at four o'clock, so we'll go back down there for that. But for now, I'm gonna eat some food. We drove all day today, I didn't do any recording or anything for that but let's let's sneak up on my mom here take this water I'm gonna show really quick our this is where we're staying it's so pretty Kirkland Washington is gorgeous this is like the private driveway up to our Airbnb and we're gonna go in and surprise mama Was it? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. How far'd you go? You went out there a couple times. You must have gone to Hawaii. This is my mama. Hello. Who are you talking to? To the, <laughs> to the people. Oh, to the people. So this is our Airbnb. Super cute. Front door. Come in. Cute little sitting area. Super cute bed. We've already made it a home. Obviously, it's just a mess in here, but. Super cute full length mirror, perfect for striking a pose. Beautiful bamboo gardens out here. It's like so tranquil. There's a little picnic table, and our host has gifted us with some trail mix, some chocolates. We got coffee, cute little sign. Welcome, Justin, Shay, and Mom. And we've got a bunch of goodies in here for tomorrow. Got a couple bottles of champagne. Got all my meal prep stuff. And yeah. about cake. You get one? That's my gym. That's my gym. But it's pretty, yeah. Thank you. Alright. Shay. Shay, Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. It's April 26th, which means that it is the one day out before my show and it is about nine o'clock in the morning. So far today, I have had eight ounces of black coffee. I have to drink a gallon of water today, so I am on my second glass of water. I have my gallon in the fridge, so this is how I'm going to be tracking my water intake today. I'm about to eat my first meal this morning 
I'm gonna start taking my dandelion root and my vitamin C with the rose hips. So I'll be taking one of these and 1,000 milligram vitamin C, my first meal. And my phone is telling me meal one today is three ounces of fish with a half cup of white rice. I haven't even made the food yet. Today's gonna be one of those days where I'm all over the place. It's already happening today, so I'm just gonna keep picking up the camera and showing you some, some things. Yesterday, I traveled from Missoula to Kirkland, and it was about, what, a seven hour drive? Eight hour drive? Eight hour drive. And I woke up at 6 a.m. and had egg whites and oatmeal and then throughout the whole drive we stopped at a couple of gas stations along the way and I had to heat up my <laughs> fish and my rice and green beans. Uh, last night I did eat a little bit of sweet potato and a couple meals with chicken in it instead of fish because today I will be eating fish six times. So I wanted to show you guys that yesterday was so brutal that waking up today, I get to eat Uncle Ben's rice instead of pre-cooked Tupperware Walmart bag rice. So this is gonna be nice and warm. It's gonna feel probably a lot better than yesterday's rice. So that's exciting news for me today. <laughs> I just took from my cooked fish and I weighed out 3.1 ounces. Whoa! Fish is popping. <laughs> Yuck. Oh my gosh. So this just reminded me yesterday when we were driving. I've never done this before, but I was going into gas stations and just like using the microwaves that they have at gas stations and the first one that I stopped in I've never done it right so I was kind and I asked the woman hey can I use your microwave and she was like what are you cooking <laughs> I was like oh just some fish and she's like I don't want it to stink in here it's like oh it won't I promise just a little bit and when I pulled it out of the microwave it stunk so bad and I just ran <laughs> And I did that a couple of times. So anyways, I thought it was funny. Uh, so with this three ounces of fish, I'm going to be adding in 50 grams of this plain original Uncle Ben's rice. I guess I can just pour it. Seems easiest, I guess. This is going to be my first meal, 50 grams of rice and some fish. And I'm still allowed to use salt and pepper right now. Um, I actually think I'm just gonna use pepper for now. I just watched a video. Should I use salt you think or should I try to do no salt? No salt? I'm allowed to do salt today, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna just obviously hold. I don't feel like I need it right now. I feel comfortable, like it's first thing in the morning. So I'm very hungry now. I'm excited to eat this. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of pepper. Um, and I'm gonna try these. Where did, the, oh, here they are. I'm losing my mind today. Things are directly in front of my face and I don't know, so. Um, I'm just gonna eat this quick. I'm gonna take my dandelion and my vitamin C. Um, I really do need to get off my feet, so I'm going to just stop recording for a little bit so we can get things all together. I need to make a few uh, just really quick trips to a few stores, and then we're gonna come back and relax, and then my tan is at four o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna eat this, gonna start getting ready, and I will see you guys in a little bit. See? 
going into Trader Joe's. Then we're gonna go to Whole Foods and then we're gonna go to the Nordstrom Rack to try and get maybe a something a little cute to wear for after my show because I didn't pack anything and none of my clothes fit. Trader Joe's got roasted gorgonzola crackers for tomorrow. I got my lean ground beef for breakfast tomorrow and baking soda to prep my skin before my tan today. Now we're going to Whole Foods. So we just made our second stop at Whole Foods because I needed to get some rice cakes that have no salt added and apparently, who knew, it was kind of like a difficult thing to find. Um, I was hoping to get the white rice with salt free but uh, they only had the brown so obviously just having the no salt was the most important to me so I went with the brown rice and now we are walking in to Nordstrom Rack and maybe going to find a cute little dress. It is 11.45. I just heated up my second meal of the day. I'm actually going to stick it back in there for a couple more seconds. Um, we just went to all those stores that I showed you. And our last stop was Rite Aid for some Benadryl so I can sleep better tonight. And I got this super cute dress. Super cute. This is gonna be so good, oh my gosh. Peanut butter, I'm just gonna mix this up and eat it really quick. And then I have to shave and get ready to go to my tan at four, so I'll see you guys with my next meal. Some of them, it just, I suppose it depends on your skin too, it's all. This is my third meal of the day. And it's the same as my first meal. It is 50 grams of rice and three ounces of cod. And I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon. Will you grab me the lemon, sweetheart? I'm put a little, <clears throat> a little bit of lemon on it. And I'm also gonna put some black pepper. out here yeah all right guys look at this kitty my kitty Meow. oh black cat all right so back from my spray tan I feel dark AF whoa is the look at my hands too they're kind of dry but Justin's over here meow meow kitty kitty there's a cute little black cat here this is where we're staying I know I keep telling you guys this but like look at this it's just absolutely gorgeous there's like little Planters all here, garden, beautiful, beautiful scenery here. I mean, if you've never been to Kirkland, Washington, I highly, highly recommend. This is pretty much how it looks everywhere you go, and I have fallen in love with Seattle once again. This whole area, I mean, is just gorgeous. So having a splendid time I am outside on my feet and I shouldn't be. I'm gonna go inside and make my fourth meal of the day and lay down. Uh, I lay down for a little bit after I got back. We had to like, after the tan, I had to go run one more errand and then officially 
done for the day. Um, when I went and got my spray tan, they said that I'm gonna go in in the morning and get my touch-up. So I'm gonna go in at like 6.30 in the morning, get a touch-up on my tan, anything that gets messed up tonight in bed, and then, oh, that kitty. Look at they're just having a swell time. This is the kitty that's at the Airbnb. Kitty kitty. Oh. Hi. Hi cat. Oh. It's just like Goomba. She's oh my good gosh. Girl. She's cute. All right, well, Justin's having fun with the cat. I am going to go back inside. It's very freezing. I'm gonna make my food and then I'm going to put my feet up. Oh, what I was saying though was that I'm gonna get my hair or tan fixed at 6.30. Hair and makeup is at seven, the meeting's at 8.30 and then the show. All right, I'll show you my food. Fourth meal of the day is some red and white potatoes. I did another 50 grams and then another three ounces of cod and I put a little bit of honey mustard on top. I'm just laying down in the bed. My feet up. I took a Benadryl and I'm very tired and I'm making my last meal which is going to be, oh I thought this was dying now going to be the same meal, three ounces of cod with 50 grams of white rice. Exciting stuff. 9.02 and I'm eating my fifth and last meal. Cod rice with a little bit of pepper and honey mustard. Very, very tired, very hungry. Can't wait to just wake up tomorrow and do the thing. So I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. All right, five o'clock in the morning. Justin's making me my first meal of the day, which is going to be two and a half ounces of plain ground beef with a half mm -hmm. cup of rice. So this morning, I get to have 16 ounces of water, and so I am going to start off by drinking eight ounces of black coffee with my beef and Justin just weighed me out 43 grams rice third cup rice I don't get any salt or condiments today and I need to take my vitamin C dandelion root This vitamin C has like literally 1600% of your vitamin C for the day. So I don't, I'm not sure what this dandelion root does, but we're gonna take that as well. Got my bags packed, getting organized. We're gonna head to the venue here shortly. waiting for the competitors meeting and then the show starts at 10 and bikini starts going on at about 11 so I'm just going to be keeping my feet up here time's going by so fast is it not it's seriously just like I got here at 6 and it's already after 8 o'clock so
Make sure we can see your numbers, ladies. Bikini turn to the back. Face forward. Okay, Casey, ladies, please follow Casey. Could I get the next lineup, please? Okay, ladies, make sure you turn it so we can see your numbers. Can yeah, I move your body toward A to B so the judges can see your numbers? See if bikini turn to the back. Face forward. Okay, Casey, please, ladies, follow Casey. Okay, listen for your numbers. 352, 353, 384, 382, 444, and 387. Okay, make sure we can see your numbers. 444, the judges on this side cannot see your numbers. Turn to the back. Face forward. Another bikini turn to the back. Five steps for the whole cup. Turn around, walk back to the white line, ladies. Three ninety two and three eighty four switch. Turn to the back. Bikini turn to the front. Make sure you, the judges can see your numbers, ladies. Okay, Casey, ladies, please follow Casey. Could I get the rest of the lineup forward, please?
looks so yummy. Here, get me. Delusional, gonna eat pizza and have some champagne and go to bed tonight as a winner. <laughs> oh, my wrist. Good morning, YouTube. Today is Monday. It is April 29th, and <clears throat> I just got up. I've been doing a few things around the house. We just got home from Seattle, Bellevue yesterday for my show, and I feel so good right now. I just wanted to pop on here and just kind of talk about the weekend and just everything that happened obviously um you'll have already i already posted the like day the show day video um but i just wanted to talk about how this is my first competition that i've ever done and i feel so i feel like there's happiness excitement and just like I feel so humble. I feel like all these things are just radiating from me. Like, I cannot stop thinking about the show. I cannot stop thinking about the experience. And just going on stage is a split second of your entire weekend. And, like, there's so much involved. And there's so much that you're doing and that you're seeing and that the other girls and competitors are doing that that's an aspect of competing that I hadn't experienced yet and that I didn't really know about. You know, you just see a lot of the glitz and the glam and, you know, everyone posting their photos, obviously, if they won. And now I know that feeling and it's a good feeling, you know. I mean, who wouldn't want to show off that you place you know at a huge competition with hundreds of people that all look absolutely fabulous and it's just like it was such a cool experience seeing the backside of it because you meet friends and you you talk to people and you get inspired and you know yeah you're you compare or you um you know uh what sort i'm looking for obviously yeah just you know, you, you judge people a little bit and you want to know like, well, what is it? What do I look like compared to them? Or like, they look good. Is that better looking than me or whatever? Um, so there is some of that that goes on, but definitely just overall nice people, positive environment. Everyone's nervous. Everyone's excited. Everyone's hungry. Everyone is doing different things. They, you know, and it's like the topic of food is, you know, the under underlying tone and um just it was just such a great weekend and last night when Justin and I got home we ate Taco Bell which is like something that I mean we love Taco Bell and I haven't eaten it once this year and so it was so it was just great we just relaxed we had a little bit of champagne ate a cookie you know just did did all the things that we should do and <clears throat> I did weigh myself this morning because obviously I hadn't weighed myself all weekend and there's just so much that went on and it's been so much of my 
um, routine that I wanted to weigh myself and see what I weighed and I was happy with it. I weighed 101.8, which if in my last videos, like the days leading up to show day, I was about 97.8, which is the lowest weight, obviously sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud but you know it is what it is and I was very happy with my package and now that the show's over I am going to do another show but it's gonna be some time I mean obviously I don't want to jump into anything and I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of downtime but I'm only going to be you know having like fun and you know I'm not going I'm not just gonna stop doing um I'm not going to I'm gonna make a new routine that is going to put me on track to build muscle you know what I mean like I'm just not now that I see where I see the scratch you know we're down to the to scratch and seeing where I where my body starts like where is my muscle mass you know, I, do, I know I can get lean enough, obviously, because I don't think that was my problem. And to be honest, me placing fourth place, I can imagine <clears throat> that that had a lot to do with my leanness. Because an aspect of bikini competing is how lean can you get but still hold muscle, you know, and how much muscle do you have in comparison with how lean you got. Like if you have muscle and you're not that lean you're gonna look soft if you don't have any muscle and you're really lean like i was you're not gonna look like you have muscle you know i mean it's just gonna be really obvious to see to the judges who has muscle and who doesn't and you know so i know i can get lean and that's really exciting you know i mean that's the hardest part in my opinion is the eating part and i stuck with a very strict diet for this whole year you know and and I'm just so excited now to see where I can build from that. And yeah.